Manoni has sent me the DM30 with RGB. Now this comes with a nice bit of software so you can control your RGB. And apparently it's a global seller. It says here, global best selling internet microphone designed for gamers. So if you're a gamer, this could be the baby for you. So in this video, we're going to do an unboxing and see exactly what you get for your money. By the way, it comes in four different colours. And then we're going to switch over microphone because I'm using this one at the moment. And we're going to be using this one. So hopefully the sound quality should be crystal clear. So I'm going to quickly read out a couple of uh, bits of information you might find informative or you might not. You, you might not even care. To features, cardinal polar pattern, real-time monitoring, all metal body, companion software, like I said it comes with software, mic game control, that's very nice, headphones, volume adjustment and high sensitivity audio recording. Let's do that shall we? Oh, comes in four different colours. Pink, purple, black and white. I do believe I've got the black one and it has been highlighted, so yes, it should be that one. Although I haven't checked it myself, but they said they sent me the black one. And I see no reason to doubt them. I like doing microphones. They're probably one of the easiest videos you could actually make, actually. Providing they work, of course. So, that's it. Oh, and it comes pre-assembled, or well, basically anyway. It comes on a uh, little stand. Right, so I've had a quick measure up of the cable length, and it's just under 1.5 metres long, so it's a good length. Also, it's a dual connection on one end. So you have a USB Type-C connection on one end, and that would be for the actual microphone itself, which is very nice, and it's been angled. And on the other end, we have a USB or, take that off, a USB Type-C connection. So if you've got a PC with USB Type-C, you can use that, or you can use that. I've got both, so I'm alright. So very nice, that's a nice little thing. I do like them little connections, although they do break eventually, because I've already had one broken. Not from this company, but if you use it enough times, eventually they break. It comes with instructions. And also with some Q codes on the back, which I've noticed, it's multilingo, and I believe it's one to twelve. Yes, one to twelve for English. So it's four different languages. I'm only interested in the English language, and it looks like it's nicely laid out with plenty of instructions, and it's programmable. And I think that's programmable for the RGB, but I haven't looked into that bit. So hopefully it is. So, it comes, like I said, it comes with a nice little stand. Let's have a look at the bottom first. So, you've got USB connection for your power. You've got your lighting. I believe it comes with a, a set amount. I can't remember how many it is. We'll go through it in a bit anyway. And headphone socket. We have your gain. And it's an on-off button there as well. Your speaker, or your microphone, sorry. And I don't know, I wouldn't have thought that would go all the way around. So it would be the bit with the logo on that you'd need to talk to. And you can disattach it. And if you've got the right connection, you can mount it to something like this. An arm. Providing you can connect it. I'm not going to try that. I'm not sure what size connection that is anyway. But I would imagine that would just work. So I'm going to do it from here anyway. I'm sure that most people will probably just try that. I will try it on a stand, maybe on that one, just to see if it fits. Because I'm sure there'll be people out there say, well, does it fit your key, or doesn't it fit? <laughs> you know what I mean? So first impressions, yeah, it looks very nice. Doesn't feel as though it's gonna fall over. That is a proper metal, that is a proper metal stand. I'm not sure about the rest of it though, that might be plastic. It's very difficult to tell. First impressions, it looks nice and yeah, let's give her a try, let's plug her in. Actually, let's plug her in, download software as well, and see what she's like. Right, I don't know if you can see that. I will turn the lights off in a minute. But, lights up on the bottom, and lights up around here. And looks quite nice. I wonder what that does. Not sure, because I haven't read the instructions. Oh, it's a mute button. I just noticed. Yeah, it changes, look, when you press it. 
Goes red, from you, unmute. Obviously it's gain as well. Now, let me quickly turn the lights off so you can see it better. Or most of the lights anyway, it's a bit dark, but you get the point. You see that? That's without playing about with the software or anything. Yeah? Right, now let's turn the software on and use the software. Right, so I've installed the software. I'm not going to show you how to install the software, but you should know how to do it anyway. And also, if you need a link to get to the software, check out the link in the video description. I'll put a link in there for you, just make it a little bit easier. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. I quite like that, actually. That's quite pretty. I'm assuming you can turn it off. Now, does the mute button work? It certainly does, and it doesn't. Right, so now what we need... Now I'm peeking, look, I've just noticed that. Right, I'm going to turn it down to about 60. Yeah, and we need to go over to the onboard microphone, or this microphone, rather than using my microphone. So give me a second while I set it all up, make sure it's working properly. We are now using the microphone. I have not got any other microphone connected because we want to try this one out. So hopefully it's nice and clear. I'm looking at the, uh, the lines and it's going into the yellows, which is fine. As long as it doesn't go into the reds and that is looking pretty good now the software the software you have a deep that's what it's set on at the moment we have a natural i have no idea what it sounds like because i haven't listened to it all i've done was do an audio check and I thought yeah it sounds pretty clear and we have bright hopefully that sounds you know maybe a bit different maybe a bit sharper i don't know but like i said i haven't listened and a legacy well, what do you think about Legacy? Which one would you prefer, Deep, Natural, Bright, or Legacy? I'm going to put it back to Deep because I know what that one actually sounds like. And hopefully it's nice and clear. I'm not sure what this does over here yet. But we have a mute button. Obviously. <laughs> we have a gain. We can turn up and down. Don't forget you can also turn up the gain on here as well. As you can see, it moves it. That's pretty good. That works pretty well. Mute button. Hopefully it's off, obviously. Headphone volume, mic monitoring. I've turned that off. And also, when I installed the software, it shut down my speakers. I thought, oh, I've got no sound coming out. Because it was using the speakers for the um, speaker connection on here. So make sure you change that over. If you think, why not got no audio? It's because it's changed it to the headphones audio. If that makes sense, still your speaker headphones, or speaker headphones, all your speakers, yeah? So I'll put it back to speakers because I like to hear the audio coming out of my speakers. Because they're nice little speakers. Now, the other thing I quite like was the RGB. You can turn it on and off. Let me just quickly show you. Off, on. You can adjust the brightness. Very good, yeah. And you have a range of different colours. I've got it on green at the moment, but you can do purple, blue. Light blue, green, yellow, orange, red, and mixed. Now, maybe in the future, they might bring out some more colouring. Maybe, I don't know. But at the moment, that is it. And then you have up here, you've got an advanced, and that is what that is for. So you can change the pattern of your audio for advanced people. I would suggest, if you've never played about this, leave it alone. <laughs> Just an idea. But if you need to play about it, like you can set your limits, which is a, to me is a good idea actually. I quite like that. Why don't it let me do it? Oh, you got a ticket. Right, okay, that's better. So you can adjust that. And what that does, if you don't know what a limiter does, it basically, say for instance, to shout, it will cut that bit off or cut part of it off so it doesn't go beyond a certain volume. But I'm going to leave that alone. And compressor, it's a sort of similar thing, but it does make you sound a little bit different. And obviously you can do your gain and that on here as well. But let's go back to standard. So now we know what advanced done. Right, I stopped it there because I realised I kept touching the microphone. You know, it's a nice microphone, I want to touch it. But it's no good when you're doing recording because you're picking up other noises. Like that. So what I'm going to do now, I did say earlier, I would try and see if it would mount. And I've already got the arm ready. And it does mount, and I'm going to show you how to do it. It's quite easy, actually. Get get out of the way. And I'm going to mute this part, okay?
Right, it's quite easy to mount. You may have to change the bracket around, I did. And also, because the mic is quite light, it does seem to be wanting to fly up in the air, as you can see. And that will take a few more adjustments, but I'm not going to mess about my arm, because I will be probably using my other mic. Saying that, I might actually start using this one for when I do my live streaming on my other channel. Let me know in the comments what you think. So yeah, you can mount it. I wasn't 100% sure, but you can unscrew the base, which I've done. And you mount it like that. And it works perfectly. Yeah, very pleased with it so far. Listen to the quality of the audio myself. I went through every section and had a good listen to that as well. And I thought, yeah, I like it on the deep. And the other one, I quite like the Legacy, I think. I think it's a Legacy, but I definitely like the deep. The one I've got it on at the moment. Let me know in the comments which one you like. I'm going to actually go through them again. So we're on the deep. This is the natural. Do you like the natural? Let me know in the comments whether it's, you know, sound better or worse. Bright. This is bright. This one I found, I think, was a little bit harsh. Again, let me know in the comments. And the legacy. Now we're now on the legacy. What do you think about the legacy? I'm going to go back to the deep. So with that, it definitely gets my thumbs up. I'm quite impressed. It is an award winner, by the way. It's won uh, an award for being innovated uh, for its looks, for the technology inside of it. It's got built-in noise reduction. Obviously, if you bang things like table, it's going to pick up some sound. Even with this setup, it's still going to pick up some sort of sound. But you shouldn't be able to hear my fans running in the background. Hopefully, you can't. I've got a computer right behind this camera and hopefully you can't hear the fans. You might hear them a little bit. And you've got a lot of options. You've got colour options. You've got adjustment on the actual settings on the microphone, gain settings, you can mute it. You can do so much. And you've even got advanced options if you want to go into advanced options. So many different options. And you can table mount it as well. So with that... Like I said, get my thumbs up. Let me know if it gets your thumbs up. If you're thinking about buying one, check out the links in the video description. It will take you straight there to this microphone. Fingers crossed, that is. <laughs> and if you like any of my videos, consider subscribing. It does help the channel to keep on growing. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Thank you very much for watching. It works. I'm happy with it.